Wait, that is so cool. How did you learn how to do that? I'm not cut out for this. Oh. Hey guys, high five, high five, high five, high five. A third grader built this. I don't even think I could build this. That is incredible. Turbo mode! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kayla from Scola, and today I'm in Southeast Queens, New York at Merrick Academy. I'm about to head inside to meet their staff and students and explore this incredible campus. Come inside. Whoop. So Ms. White, I really wanna know what is Merrick Academy all about? Yeah, Merrick Academy is a STEAM-based IB school, so, um, K to H. So we're working, I think our mission, when I think about what my mission is every day, it's to get our kids to the best um, tech and um, highest performing high schools in the city so that they can go on to college. So we actually do a lot of work with um, inquiry projects and we pull a lot of real world applications. Um, they are working to be global citizens, so as they do the projects, they're, they're pulling together like things in robotics and things in um, science and microbiology and all these cool things to, to think about how we can impact the world and make the world a better place for the future. I absolutely love that. Whoops, we do too. <laughs> so this is my new friend, Milani. She's a fifth grader. So Milani, what is your favorite part about going to school at America Academy? So my favorite part about going to school at America Academy is that you have so much fun. You make a lot of friends and um, the teachers are really nice and pleasant, and sometimes if you like do really good in school, you get a reward afterwards. That's awesome. Do you think that you have a favorite teacher or favorite subject here? My favorite subject will probably be dance class and math. Well, we just came from a dance class, and it looked like they were having a ton of fun in there. So you guys just have such a blast here. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. It's pretty amazing, but at the same time, we have to make sure we do our work to make sure we get it done and have rewards at the end. That's awesome. So you're equally focused on dance and academics and the fun stuff. Yeah. And then because you're a fifth grader, I want to know if you had to give advice to a kindergartner coming here for the very first time, what would you want them to know about going to American Academy? So I would tell them that don't think it's so much pressure on you. To be honest, all the teachers love every student equally. And all you do, you have fun. We go on trips. Like some kindergartners were on a bowling trip. And then especially in the June, like kindergartners, you'll have a prom like we did last time before. We had a Cinderella ball for kindergarten. That sounds like so much fun. I can already tell that you are gonna do amazing things when you head off to middle school next year. Yeah. So they're actually making a middle school sixth grade for um, the new people who are coming. So we can, we're gonna have this school building and then we're gonna make a whole new building. So then you're gonna just stay a part of the America Academy family. That is so exciting. Yes. Well, it's so nice to meet you today, Milani. It's nice to meet you too. So Mr. Jones, I know that there's a lot of options for families when it comes to choosing a the school for their child. So why choose Merrick? Sure, uh, I think Merrick offers uh, a couple of different things that are unique. Uh, we're a smaller school, we're a community-based school. Um, we have a very strong ethos in terms of um, how we relate to students, how we relate to families in our local community. Um, one of our preferences is actually for the lottery to be able to take families from our neighboring uh, community to be able to make sure that they are able to offer or we're able to offer them the best education in Southeast Queens. Um, some other distinguishing factors that we have, we are STEAM-based IB curriculum. Um, there are very few charters in this area, very few schools in actually New York City who have an IB-based curriculum. Um, but again, we, we, we strive to do that because we want to offer uh, the students in Southeast Queens the best education possible. And IB offers them that or affords them that. Uh, as, even as Ms. White mentioned, to be able to get them to the best top performing high schools so that can go on to college uh, and beyond. Uh, something else that distinguishes us is after school. That is something that is highly distinguishable from us and other, other charters in the area and other schools in the area. Uh, just because we are able to offer a full day of extended care. Uh, for families who are working, families that need additional services or need additional support um, in any specific regard. Uh, and I think the last thing that makes us uh, extremely unique is just our, our, our sense of community, our sense of belonging, and our sense of ethos, as I mentioned before, right? We have a strong parent body. We have a strong MFA. Uh, so in other schools, it's called a PTA. 
Uh, we have a strong teacher community. We have a strong support staff community, uh, and we have a strong leadership community. Uh, most of the folks that are that are hired by Merrick live in the area or are from the neighboring area, uh, which again just lends an additional layer of support, an additional layer of understanding, uh, an additional layer of uh, differentiation between us and and some other charters out there and some other schools in general. The last thing. We do offer dress down days. So as you saw in some of the video, um, today is a paid dress down day. So there were opportunities throughout the year uh, for us to have dress down days. So we're not just about uh, academics, but we're also about community. Uh, and then lastly, we're also about having some fun. Yeah, I love that. I mean, you guys have such beautiful uniforms for the students, but it was also really fun today to see all the students, you know, in their, their fashion choices and things like that. So I love that you, you really bring the academic and the fun aspect into everything that you're doing, you know, down to their clothing and everything. Thank you. So today is actually Merrick Academy's Science Expo. So this is a really fun opportunity for all of their students to engage in some STEM projects. Students get to select a topic that they're passionate about and conduct a hypothesis and experiment and then showcase their findings here at the expose. So this is my new friend, Ethan. He's a third grader and he just did a really cool project on bridges. Ethan, can you tell me about your project? Well, in our project, we discovered that triangles are one of the most strongest shapes for building bridges because if you add weight to the top of a triangle, it's evenly distributed down two, si two equal length sides. So we built a truss bridge, a suspension bridge, and a triple deck bridge and t we tested how much weight each bridge could hold. That is so cool, Ethan. And you sound like you could be a scientist or even an engineer one day. Would you say science is your favorite subject? No, I wouldn't say science is my favorite subject, but it's one of the favorite subjects. There's just too many to choose. What is your favorite subject? My favorite subject would be math and then science would come after that. Well, you know, math and science go together great. So I think that you could be an engineer, an architect. There's so many different careers you could do one day. Well, it's so exciting to meet you today. I love your project. Thank you. So Mrs. Kamar, we had the chance to peek our heads in a ton of your classrooms today. So tell me a little bit more about the classroom experience for your students. I really hope you got to see this because when I think of our classroom experience, I think of two things. One, student voice and choice. We have a lot of opportunities for students to be heard and for them to respond in ways that is innovative. Um, and then the other thing I think of is students having the opportunity every single chance we get to do the heavy cognitive lift, right? We put a lot of the ownership of the learning on the students and teachers are quite frankly the guides on the side. Um, and I really hope that that is the experience that students feel every day as they come in, you know, a part of our mission as we pursue the IB accreditation is to make global citizens. And the only way to do that is to give them the opportunity to take that heavy lift. Um, every single day, children should feel like they are worthy and capable of the highest quality of teaching and learning. That's incredible. And I could tell from your students, they were just having fun in class. Yes, and at the center of all of those practices is fun and joy. Um, Inquiry-based learning can sometimes be a little daunting, but it takes the stepping back and letting them have fun to see the things that they discover. So the exciting events happening behind me right now is part of their STEM program, where their fifth graders are actually learning how to code, if you can believe that. They have these spherical robots that they're using algorithms to tell stories through robotics and really bringing their STEM to life. So one really unique program here at Merrick is their dance program, and they actually have a professional dancer leading that. So tell me a little bit more about your program and what you love about it. So I've been studying dance since I was about eight years old, and so it's been my life. Um, and a dance teacher of mine gave me my first dance class in uh, public school, and I strive to go to college and get my degree to come and give back to my community to give them A1 quality um, movement and direction and skills um, that I've learned and paid for. So I want to be able to give that back to my community. So what we strive here in my class is integrity, focus and discipline and applying those things not only to dance but into your uh, curriculum as well. That's awesome and you guys were having so much fun while you're at Ooh, it's fun until it's not. <laughs> but it's, they're, they're really great kids, they're really great students and um, dance is a universal conversation, you know. Movement is what keeps everybody alive and dance is what makes people happy and feel and live and move. So I just want them to be seen, heard and make them know that they can 
dance it all the way, whatever they're going through, and just put it into the movement and leave it on the floor. I love that. So, Miss Keith, just, you know, leading your students today and seeing them interact with each other and their friends and their, their teachers, it's clear that you guys have a really strong community here. So, tell me more about that. Sure. So community isn't something that you can find in a textbook. It's not something that you learn in graduate school, right? It's about the entire experience. You can know community um, just from your family, what that looks like. Community is about the neighborhood. And so when we think about community, we think about the moment that anyone walks through our door. So from the moment you ring the bell and someone greets you at the front desk, that tells you about who we are as a community. Um, when things are going well for families, how we respond, and when families are in crisis, how we respond. And Merrick Academy, since I've been here, I'm going next year will be my fifth year um, at the school. This is a school that goes above and beyond um, to support all of our families. Um, even the way we name our family association, it's not a PTA, um, which is Parent Teacher Association, it's MFA, Merrick's Family Association, because our families are represented by moms, dads, grandparents, aunts. Sometimes we have older siblings um, who are taking care of families. And so we have a very holistic way about thinking about community. We partner with some other organizations. We partner with medical institutions, mental health institutions, um, other um, 501c3s to provide the things that we may not be able to provide as a school. And then we have families. I'll give you an example. Um, we had a bunch of clothes uh, last year, kids lost uniforms. And so we have families come in and take the clothes home and wash them and bring them back. So that if another student needed something, they had an accident, we had clean clothes to give them. We have families, a student's house caught on fire and families donated clothes, they donated money, gift certificate, groceries. And so again, community is not something that you're gonna find in a manual, but it is who we are and it's inherent in the spirit of Merrick Academy. Yeah, you can really feel it, you know, just walking through the halls that you guys, as you said, are a big family here. We are. Well, that's a wrap for today here at Merrick Academy. If you're interested in applying, they're currently expanding all the way through eighth grade. So make sure to head to their website for more information and of course, scola.com. See you guys in the next one.